Imagine ChatGPT writing social media posts in your exact voice. No generic AI fluff, but actually writing content that sounds like you. It uses your tone, uses your stories, uses your experience, and puts it all into social media posts that no one would know were written by AI. Well, today in this video, I'm gonna show you an undercover strategy that lets you train ChatGPT on your entire Facebook profile so that it can perfectly clone your writing style. And once you see how easy this is, you'll never stare at a blank screen wondering what you should write. ChatGPT will have you covered. Hey, it's Dave here, and I've been using this method on my own personal profile as well as with some of my clients. And the results have been amazing. In fact, I had ChatGPT write some content for me, and when I read it, I couldn't tell who'd written it. Was it me or AI? This is a super powerful strategy that no one's talking about, so let's dive in. If you simply ask ChatGPT to write a piece of content for you on a specific topic, you know what you're gonna get. Let's go over and do an example here together. Imagine I wanted ChatGPT to write a 400 word Facebook post about how to get more clients. Let's run this and you know what's coming out. This is gonna be the typical bullet point, lots of M dashes, clearly generic AI written content. Here we go, you've seen this before. This is the type of content that if you post this on social media, it's gonna do more harm than good. Not only is your audience gonna tune you out, but the algorithm's gonna see that you're just posting AI content and your reach is gonna dramatically decline. So how do we overcome this? Well, we're gonna take all of your content on your Facebook profile and use that to train ChatGPT so that it can actually write just like you do. There are four steps to accomplish this. The first step is we're gonna go over here to a tool called Facebook Post Scraper, and this is hosted over on Appify. You can see the URL right here. It's at appify.com forward slash appify forward slash Facebook dash post dash scraper. And then you're gonna be able to try this for free. So go ahead and click on try for free. And it's gonna take you over to a screen like this where you can set up the post scraper. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna enter the URL for your personal profile. If this is where you're creating content on Facebook, you could also put in a URL for a page if that's where you're creating your content. In my case, I'm gonna go over to Facebook and I'm gonna go, here's my personal profile. Here's the URL, I'm gonna grab that URL and then let's go back over to the post scraper so you can see that I've got my personal profile URL included here. Now let's take a look at a few more settings here. First, results amount. This is the number of posts that's gonna try and scrape on your behalf. You can leave that at 500. And then I do recommend that you turn this off, include video transcript. Otherwise, this is gonna go and try and transcribe all of your reels or videos on your profile. It's gonna take a lot longer and use up a lot more resources. So I'm gonna have that turned off. For time frame, I have mine set to get all posts that are newer than January 1st, 2024. I just want relatively recent posts. So I don't want the tool to go back and grab posts from 10 years ago because my writing style has probably changed since then. You can have that set up however you like. And then that's it for settings. You can go ahead and click start. When you do that, do notice that when you join Appify and you use this app for the first time, you're gonna get $5 of free credit. So you don't need to sign up. You don't need to give your credit card or anything like that. You can run this tool for free. And once you push start, the app's gonna go to work. It's gonna go start scraping all of your posts from the URL that you provided. I'm gonna show you an example here. This is the type of result that you're gonna get. So I let this run just for four minutes here and I had it scrape just 65 posts. Of course, you can let yours go ahead and scrape all 500 if that's what you selected. But take a look at the output here. So you're gonna see that you're gonna get a link to the post that was scraped, as well as the post text over here, as well as the engagement stats from that post. So this is great, this is exactly what you want. And then we're gonna go up here and you wanna click on export and you wanna leave this as selected CSV and then click on download. And that's gonna go ahead and download in a CSV format all of your posts as well as your engagement stats. Let me show you what this looks like. When you get this file, there's gonna be a whole lot of columns here, but if you scroll all the way over to the right, these are the columns that you really are interested in. Again, you've got the link to your post that was scraped, the text from that post, as well as your engagement stats over here. So be sure to save this file because this is what we're gonna to use to train ChatGPT in the next step. And if this is helpful so far, give this video a like so that I know I should share more tricks like this in the future. Now let's take a look at the next step. I'm gonna go back over here to ChatGPT. And this time I'm gonna go over to GPTs in the left-hand menu. And then from that screen, I'm gonna click on create. We're gonna create a new custom GPT and we're gonna train this based on all of your Facebook posts that you just downloaded. So it says, what would you like to make? In this case, I want the GPT to be a content writer that writes Facebook posts in my voice using past examples of my writing. So this is telling the AI not to just go and create generic content. Very specifically, this content is all gonna be based on the content that we train this GPT on. 
So we're going to go ahead and send that prompt in and it's going to come back and confirm that it understands what its role is. And then it's going to go ahead and set up this custom GPT. It says we need to give this GPT a name. I suggest voice weaver. I'm going to call this Facebook post writer instead and enter that in. That'll rename this custom GPT as Facebook post writer. And then it's going to ask me for a profile picture. It's going to generate one. I usually just accept whatever it is that it comes up with. And here's what it generated. I'm just going to say, yes, use it. And that's it for the initial setup steps. Now what you want to do is we're going to go over here to configure, and this is where we're going to upload all of your past posts from Facebook. So down here under knowledge, let's click on upload files. And then I'm going to find that file. Here's mine. I'm going to upload that and you can see it's being uploaded. You'll see the little circle here will complete when it's finally uploaded that file. And now we're going to go back over to create and we're going to give a prompt so that the GPT understands what that file was that we just uploaded. So I'm going to say, I just uploaded a set of my past posts. Use these to write like me. Let's enter that. And you'll see your custom GPT. It comes back. It understands that Facebook post writer is going to draw from that knowledge base to create content that actually writes in your voice with your style, using your examples, your knowledge, etc. And you can see it actually says that right here. It says now Facebook post writer will automatically use your uploaded posts as style references. And then it's going to ask you this next question here. And this is important. It says, do you want it to strictly copy your style from the examples or allow for slight creative variations while staying true to your voice? And I've tested both of these different options. And for me, I find that it writes best if I say you can use slight variations. So I'll enter that and you'll see the custom GPT. It understands this. It says now Facebook post writer, it'll stick to your authentic voice while adding just enough variation to keep things lively and fresh. And then it asks, do you want to start testing this out? And we are going to test it. So what I'm going to do is go up here and then you want to click on create. And this is going to be available only to me. I'm going to save this and that's it. Your custom GPT is now published. And I'm going to close this down. Let's get out of here. And now when I go over to GPTs, I'm going to go to my GPTs and we'll find this right here. Facebook post writer. Let's go ahead and click on this. And now we're going to give it an instruction. We're going to tell it to write a 400 word Facebook post using my tone, knowledge, experience and interests about and the topic is how to get more online clients. Now, remember at the start of this video, this is the exact same topic that we fed into a regular chat GPT. And remember back then the result was generic AI writing. It's not something that you'd ever want to post on social media. But now because we've given this custom GPT a specific knowledge base and we're asking it to draw from that knowledge base, let's see what happens and check out the results. So it says, great, I can see your past posts now. So it's using that database of posts that we provided to write this new post. And then it explains some of the style choices that I make in my typical Facebook writing. And here's the result. Now, interestingly, right off the bat, it does a great job of mimicking my Facebook style. I always use all caps in my headlines. I like to bold my headlines. I like to use these emojis, numbering the different sections in my posts. And so this is a great start, but you might find that there are still some nuances in this writing that isn't exactly in your voice. And the cool thing is you can always go back and adjust your custom GPT to fine tune it so that it does sound exactly like you. I'm gonna show an example here. I saw this, the dreaded M dash. This is the dead giveaway that a post was written by AI. So I can tell my custom GPT never to do this. I never want an M dash. How we do this is we go up here, click on the down arrow, and then we want to edit GPT. And that's going to take us over here to this screen. It says, welcome back. Is there anything Facebook post writer should be doing better? And so yes, never use M dashes. And you'll see that it's updating the GPT. And then it comes back and says, Facebook post writer will now avoid M dashes entirely and use other punctuation instead. And you can even prompt it. One thing that I like to do is I like to use ellipses. So I'm going to go and tell it, let's say use ellipses instead. And now this custom GPT, it'll know, let's not use M dashes, replace those M dashes with ellipses. And now this custom GPT, it gets it. It says Facebook post writer will now use ellipses in place of M dashes whenever a pause or emphasis is needed. Exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on update and then we can go back and rerun a test. And that's all it takes. I found that after just a little bit of extra training, this custom GPT does an excellent job of writing Facebook content exactly the way that I would write it. And that's what it's gonna do for you as well. And there are so many use cases for this. Yes, you can use it to write your own Facebook content, or you could give this custom GPT to a team member and have them write content on your behalf. Or maybe if there's someone on Facebook whose content you really love and you'd like to emulate their writing style, 
you could train a custom GPT based on that person's Facebook profile. Really the opportunities with this are endless. So this is one content creation strategy that I use on Facebook, but I also have a secret weapon and that secret weapon is Unipro. Unipro is an amazing tool that goes out onto Facebook. It finds your ideal leads. It brings those leads over into your audience and makes sure that those leads see your content and engage with your content so that you can strike up a conversation with them at the exact time they're most likely to buy from you. Unipro has been a game changer for my online business and I know it will be for you as well. So if you haven't checked it out yet, go over to unipro.com. That's what I've got for you in this video, all about training ChatGPT to write exactly like you do. If this was helpful, give it a like. And if you have any questions about the strategy, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I'm happy to help out. And again, if you're building an online business and you're using Facebook to do it, you got to check out Unipro. Go over to unipro.com. It's really going to speed up the growth of your business. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you in the next one.